For years, the weather forecasting capabilities of experts in the country have been hampered by the lack of necessary equipment. That will soon no longer be the case, as the Philippines and EU have agreed to a multi-million euro project that would pave the way for the necessary satellite infrastructure and data collection systems. Again, Gavi Natividad has the details. The Department of Science and Technology, or DOST, launched the COFIL project alongside the delegation of the European Union and the Philippines earlier today. This is the first joint project between the European Union and an Asian country. In this project, a total of 10 million euros, a 610 million pesos, have been invested by the Union to be able to build the necessary satellite infrastructure and data collection systems and offices in the country. It aims to help the Philippines monitor are important movements in space and in turn create more streamlined national systems for natural disasters. This project also aims to monitor climate change for better management and handling of the phenomenon. According to DOSC Secretary Renato Solidum, this project is a big opportunity for the country to create preemptive measures during crisis. He also noted that the project has a lot of applications throughout other industries. The data gathered from the satellites are expected to boost our our country's food security, urban planning, weather monitoring, and many more. So this uh, project essentially will enable us to be able to get the data as soon as possible as the data infrastructure is being improved through the leadership of the Philippine Space Agency and we are still supporting it as we are transitioning uh, many of our efforts uh, on space through the Advanced Science and Technology Institute. and. Uh, this would now enable us to get the scientific data as soon as possible so that we can have timely decision at any time and anywhere. But there are these creeping events, you know, I mean like uh, air quality. You know, this, these things are, we inhale air every day, we might not suffer immediately, but over a period of time. As well as urban heat index, these things are measured um, from satellites in space. So these are all being brought to the fore. The country also have ground scientists that will verify information gathered from these satellites. With this new technology, they can create more accurate maps, better track weather changes, discover other sources of energy, and many more. So, kami yung nagde-develop ng uh, tinatawag natin na downstream applications no, ng satellite data. So, yung mga satellites natin na kumukuha ng uh, images sa space, kumukuha ng pictures, pinaprocess po yun ng team natin para mag-develop ng mga mapa, uh, marami pong ibang application tulad ng ground movement, ground subsidence, flooding, pati agricultural monitoring, uh, mapping ng crops tulad ng mga palayan, uh, sugarcane, uh, corn, uh, etc. The new COFIL project will also prompt a data sharing between the Philippines and the European Union. Meanwhile, the OSC also attended the launching of the PERPSAT of the University of Perpetual Health System Delta today. The inauguration and dedication of the amateur satellite ground station development in Las Piñas campus was attended by DOSC Secretary Solidum and other key officials. Gabi Natividad for the nation.